Uh, Congressman, uh, thanks very much for being with us. We appreciate it. Uh, so do you think we're heading toward a, sh a shutdown? What, what's your sense of it right now? Yes, we are. We will be next week. We, we met Saturday in the Rules Committee, passed out four uh, bills that we'll send to the floor uh, in the rule. Department of Defense, Agriculture, Homeland Security, and State and Foreign Ops. We will put them on the floor. We'll probably uh, debate it the next two days and vote on it by Friday and hopefully send that over. Um, but, but Jim, the, the real issue is not the shutdown. The real issue is the two crises that we have in this country, economic security crisis and uh, economic crisis. Uh, we've got a problem in this country. And uh, what we've done in rules is attached to the Homeland Bill. We've got uh, the language that unless they enforce H, uh, HR2, that uh, is, is the security border, uh, strict enforcement of that, uh, we're not going to fund Mayorkas uh, because he hadn't done the job and he hadn't put the money to it. This administration is is put this country in a tough shape economically and and with national security so well won't a government shutdown exacerbate the uh, economic situation in this country and it's certainly not going to help down at the border if border patrol agents aren't getting paid because there's a government shutdown well what's we can't expect a different result uh again we, we've done this, I don't know how many years. That's why we've got the 32 trillion in debt. We're going to have a permanent shutdown if we don't get this economic crisis uh, handled in this country. And so we're going to try to, you know, our one thing that we did in January in the election of McCarthy is ask for the spending bills, 12 appropriation bills, to go line item by line item in June and July and not wait to the last minute. So September uh, 30th has never been a figment of our imagination. Uh, October 1 has always been the new budget year. But and, uh, is there a part so of you that, that we are wants we to are. shut the government down to sh send a message? Is that part of this? There are just some members in the Freedom Caucus who want to shut it down to see if the message can get across that you're trying to send. No, the message we're getting across is it's not business as usual. We're not going to bankrupt this country. We're just not going to do it. And to keep doing the same thing. And we've always, I mean, both Democrat and Republican, Jim, have run it down to, to, the, to the wire. And then it'll go on these continuing resolutions. It'll go to, you know, if we approve it, a spending gap, a spending amount, uh, either 30 days or we get it through Christmas. And then say, oh, we're going to have to go to the same spending levels, but much higher as we've always done. And we're just not, we're not doing that. Yeah. So you've well, got a government that sure shut the businesses down. They sure shut uh, the school children out of schools. And it's time that we get a handle on it and we're going to do it. Well, let me ask you this. Uh, the House Speaker Kevin McCarthy, he uh, had some choice words for uh, members of uh, your conference, the Republican conference, his own party. Let's listen to what he told reporters on Thursday. It's frustrating in the sense that I don't understand why anybody votes against bringing the idea and having the debate. And then you've got all the amendments if you don't like the bill. This is a whole new concept of individuals that just want to burn the whole place down. It, that doesn't work. Congressman, uh, the uh, speaker there saying uh, there are members of your conference who want to burn the whole place down. Are you uh, one of those members who wants to burn the whole place down? It, it sounds like he's calling you an arsonist. <laughs> No, look, it's not about Kevin McCarthy. Uh, Kevin should have had us working in, in July and August to come up with an agreement on the spending bills. And, and he had agreed in January to, to, to do that, to get us on a downward spending trajectory. He just hasn't done that. He's been in Congress 17 years. Now, uh, you know, we, we either have going to face a reality, and he calls frustrated with us, the American people are frustrated with the way government has not worked and the way government politicians have spent their money. And so but how can you and other Freedom Caucus members drive this hard line here? How can, how can others uh, in your caucus demand that you uh, have this position that everybody has to go along with uh, when you don't have the numbers? Well, we, we uh, passed the DOD bill out, and it didn't have the numbers. Uh, look, it's, it's all about, the, the again, economic security and anybody that that doesn't see what's going on at the border and doesn't uh, know that this country is we're at, we're at a tipping point and we either handle it or we don't and the, the government the, employees won't like be getting paychecks uh, but, members of the military won't be getting paychecks 
Uh, members of the Border Patrol down on the border won't be getting paychecks. You're comfortable with that? That's not right. They're going to get pay, back pay whenever we open back up, and we will open back up. Look, Jim, the sun's going to still shine. Uh, the, the oceans. But that's real pain uh, that they're going to the be going through. I mean, in, you, in and out. Are you going to get paid? Yes, Congress gets paid. I don't make the, I didn't make, I didn't write the Constitution. I'm not that old. But what yeah. I'll tell you this is, uh, there are a lot of art? Americans living paycheck to paycheck. And I, you know, simply, uh, you can agree or disagree with it, but. Uh, a lot of members of the military you know, are living paycheck to paycheck. To if, if you don't, if they're not getting paid, you say they're going to get back pay. If they're, if they're living paycheck to paycheck, that doesn't sound too good for members of the military, members of the Border Patrol. No, it's not. No, well, the border, no, it's not. But ask any, you mentioned Border Patrol, they're so frustrated with what this administration is doing to let everybody and everybody in this country. Uh, it's, it's, it's just not right. And we, we're on tap to have 15 million illegals in this country. As we see, how, how's that working out in New York? It's not. And so we're tying uh, the border security now uh, to homeland security, we're going we're gonna to do that on every appropriations bill to get a heart, get a number, and we'll see where it goes. Everybody listening to this show ought to call the senator because uh, that's who we're going to put it back on. And thank God, finally, uh, Schumer's getting booed, AOC's getting booed. The American but are you are you prepared to take responsibility on. for this? Because you know we were talking to John Bolton, the former national security advisor, uh, in a previous hour on this program, who said typically when the government shuts down. Republicans get blamed for it. Isn't that what's going to happen this time around? Are you prepared to shoulder that blame? Look, uh, this isn't about blame. This is about doing what's right for the country. And we're, we're trying to do that. It's in business as usual. And, uh, you know, the, the, the fact that Americans are living paycheck to paycheck are because of this Biden, Bidenomics, you know, the one family is working for Joe Biden and his family. No one else is working for him. And the 330 Americans don't deserve it. And all we're saying is, let's live, let's live like every business and every family does. Uh, look at your spending and try to agree on it. And no, this will be the Senate's responsibility and the Democrats who have, have caused this crisis. And it shouldn't be at this shouldn't be at this point in the history of this country. But how can you accuse Democrats of causing this crisis when you're the ones who are going to shut down the government? You're no, saying you're going to do what, it. What That's you're you. missing is. The last three and a half years, uh, we've had an invasion. Every he's opened it up, and, and guess what? It's and I, I suspected this. It's for for keeping Democrats in office. He's giving now, Jim. Get this. He's giving social security. Wait a minute, Congressman. Are you, are you saying that? To, to what are you illegal. trying to say that there's an invasion of migrants in this country, and, and the Democrats are doing this to get elected? Is that what you're saying? That's just not true. Uh, no, it is true. Uh, look it up. He's given social security numbers and driver's licenses. He's done it in New York. What do you call that? What else can you call that? You give me a term for it. Sir, that, that, is, that is something that, uh, I mean, it, it sounds like what you're doing when you say that is demonizing immigrants. When you say that they're coming into this country no. as part of some invasion to change the political calculus in this country, that's just not the case. There are lots yeah. of people who come into this country as immigrants end up voting Republican. Um, I, I they guess come that, into that doesn't this country le legally. They come into this country legally. You can term it however you want. They come into it legally. Never before have we opened our borders up to every country uh, all, all across the globe, and we're going to stop it one but way. But how are you? How American are you going to? How are you going to lock Europe. down the border? How are you going to have better border protection if you shut down the government? I guess I don't understand that. That doesn't make any sense. Well, what does make sense is to, and we're going to have to force, the public is going to have to force this Biden administration to let the Border Patrol agents do their job, to get the wall built, have designated points of entry. And this administration is just not doing it. They're doing it intentionally. And whether you agree with it or not, they're doing it for power. Why are they giving Social Security What do you mean by that? Why, why are you, what they're does this say it. they're intentionally, do, intentionally doing what? Where is your evidence of this? Where is your proof of this? It just sounds like you're throwing uh, uh, rhetoric York's around there. with no basis in fact. Uh, no, you can. Have you been to the border? Of course I have. Have you seen what's going on? The rapes, the uh, it's it's open. I mean, nobody can can deny that. The border is and uh, they've got a, it's a crisis. Where? I'll ask the question, sir. And, and the Where border is, is not open. That is that is something that that is uh, peddled as a talking point, but it's not true. 
There, there are fences, there are walls. Uh, there are border patrol agents who, yeah. who work okay. on the border. The five plus million uh, that have gotten into this country illegally uh, is not a figment of, of our imagination. Ask the border patrol agents. Ask anybody yeah. down there. They're frustrated. But I guess I haven't. You, you uh, have no, not been Biden able to answer my question as to how you effectively do border enforcement if you're shutting down the government. I guess, but I guess we're not going to well, get an answer to that question, right? I mean, if you well, shut down I'm, the government, Saturday what? rolls around, you're going to have border patrol agents who are going to be without pay. How are they going to want to go out there and, and do border patrol enforcement if they're not getting paid? It sounds like an ineffective Ask this way of president. running Why? Well, what's ineffective is this president doing what he's doing to America, and it shouldn't happen. 